Good morning, YouTube Booktube. This is Johnny. Today is a Tuesday here in West Michigan. It is 7.36 in the morning. It is April the 4th, 2020. And I um, thought I'd stop by and make a video. I'm writing in my diary this morning. I'm on page 378 for the year 2020 and uh, I'm still waking up drinking coffee and uh, I got out to read this morning for devotions reform ethics created fallen and converted humanity this is volume one by Herman Babbick I've been reading Herman Babbick. Uh, I've been reading this also by Herman Babbick, a Christian worldview, Herman Babbick, and reading the wonderful works of God, uh, full title, the wonderful works of God, instruction in the Christian religion according to the Reformed Confession by Herman Babbick. So I've been reading these off and on throughout uh, as we go through the plague and uh, so that's what I've been reading in the mornings and uh, I got this book in the mail last week used I've been reading this it's called Yours in Truth a personal portrait of Ben Bradley legendary editor of the Washington Post uh, by Jeff Hi 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 him, 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 him and ma man. So I've been reading this. Uh, I, I've said in past videos I, I'm interested in the lives of editors, journalists, painters, poets, writers, uh, uh, people like this. And he's a very famous editor of the Washington Post. So, my wife uh, walks around the neighborhood and a couple of days ago she was looking at uh, what's called free little library, these little local little libraries that people have in front of their houses, a little, looks like a post box, post, what do you call it, a po um, you know, it's little friends of little friends library or something like that free library anyway she found this book for me that i've been reading screams from the balcony selected letters 1960 to 1970 by charles uh, burkowski so i've been reading these letters the last couple of days also i got out of one of those free little libraries uh, J.D. Salander, Escape Artist, a, bi a little biography, memoir by Thomas Belder. So I was reading this last night. So those are the kind of things I read as I go through my days. As, a, as people on BookTube and YouTube have been saying, due to this, uh, this plague, this virus that we're kind of just... There's a lot of stress and a lot of distraction on our minds. and But I do read throughout the day, write in my diary, read the Bible, watch the birds, and just try to pray and ask God's grace to give us strength to keep going. And, but yeah, it's been pretty hard to really focus on anything. Um, so I do read. Like I read this last night and looked at my J.D. Salander books down the lower level in our library and reading the letters of Charles Burkowski, Broskowski, Burkowski, and reading about the life of this great uh, newspaper editor of the Washington Post. Uh, it says, Ben Bradley was a fixture on the American scene for nearly a half a century. The legendary executive editor of the Washington Post, whose decisions during Watergate changed the course of history. 
granted unprecedented presidented access to Bradley and his colleagues, friends, and private files. Jeff Hemmerman draws on never before internal post memos, correspondence, personal photographs, and private interviews to trace the full arc of Bradley's 45 year old 45 year career from his early days as a press attache to post-war Paris through the Pentagon Papers, Richard Nixon's resignation, Jan Janet Cookie fabrication scandal and beyond. Along the way, him, him and man also unearthed a series of surprises about Watergate, about Bradley's private relationships with post owner Catherine Graham, reporters Bob Wordward and Carl Bernstein, and President Kennedy and his wife Jackie. So I, I like reading biographies, especially of journalists and reporters, as a way to look at American history, because uh, they were eyewitnesses of it, and they reported it and wrote about it. So that's why I like reading this. And Herman Bavick, he was a very famous Dutch Reformed theologian around the early 20th century, Netherlands. Uh, yeah, reform ethics. I just I got this back out of the lower level last night to read about the effects of sin on humanity, uh, created, fallen, and converted humanity. There's a section here, humanity under the power of sin. I wanted to reread that for morning devotions and I've been reading also the wonderful works of God the chapter on sin and death so which is kind of goes along with what's going on right now sin and death <laughs> people dying of the plague uh, so anyway I just thought I'd stop by, say good morning. This is a Tuesday. We're going to the middle of the month and things don't seem to be getting any better. But all we can do is pray and ask God to have mercy upon us. So I thank you for the comments. I know that last video I made, I made it and I wasn't really going to post it. I made it private and then I just felt kind of crazy because if you're on YouTube, People are posting all these videos about music, people, musicians making live uh, little videos of them in their houses performing music and people on Facebook making videos and about music and I just thought I'd be kind of crazy and make a little video and I knew it might be offensive or disturb certain kinds of people in my subscription list and that was not my intention. I was just trying to do something spontaneous and something that's kind of crazy. <laughs> so, uh, but I don't, most of my days I, I sit and I write and we have classical music playing and once in a while I'll play some, some really loud, extreme kind of music, but I tend to like just having to listen to my inner brain. <laughs> I don't like having things competing with my thought life because I read. I can't listen to music if I'm reading. I need my concentration and so on. Um, but I just thought I'd just share something kind of crazy. So I just want to stop by and hope you're all doing well, that you're staying safe. And yeah, once again, I do thank you for the new subscribers. and. Uh, and so I'm supposed to get some books in the mail this week. Uh, I've ordered and, uh, but yeah, so I'll sign off. Thank you for the comments and uh, thank you for hanging in there with me and my crazy kind of things I do sometimes. So once again, hope you're all doing well. Stay safe and have a good week of reading and just hang in in there. Bye.